amazing people welcome to my youtube channel this is coach malebo a holistic life and wellness coach i believe in the well-being of the mind the body and the spirit i'm also an accredited meditation practitioner have written books for myself and other people i have also been certified as a health and nutrition coach can you believe it all these amazing things in one person yeah baby that's me we need to embrace our our gifts and i think this is should be actually the topic for another day but anyway welcome to my youtube channel and if you haven't subscribed to this community please click on that red button there and let us begin welcome to malibu tv a place of transformation and wellness so today I want us to talk about limiting beliefs and I am going to share my story with you as I always do, right? I am sharing my story not because I want to be a hero. I am sharing my story because I just want to show people that we are all human beings and we all have our imperfections. We all have our flaws. We all have our fears, the things that we... Uh, um, we all have these things that we, we fear to, to do or whatever the reason may be. So here is Coach Malibu's story. In 2014, I began my journey as a fitness fanatic. And um, 2014, I just wanted to lose weight. It took me a bit longer because I did not know what I know now. I mean, now I'm a certified health and nutrition coach. By then, I was just coming out from nowhere, just wanting to lose weight. And it took me about 10 months to lose 17 or whatever kilograms. I don't remember. It has been a long time. <laughs> and um, then, you know, I, I, I went on and on and on. And one of the things that I loved to do was running. I actually loved running from, from primary school. Then from middle school and high school, I never participated in any sport. And it caught up with me when I was already older and I started running. So I started running three kilometers. Now I have a certificate that has certified me. Now I'm, I'm a certified runner, guys. <laughs> Comrades Marathon, which is 90 kilometers. So this has been a journey for me, you know, and also when you want to embark on that type of a journey where you want to you want to run uh, ultra marathons, you, you have to understand your body. So it, it went on and on as a, as a passion, more of a passion than just me trying to lose weight. And I see a whole lot of people are trying to figure out how am I going to lose weight without exercising. With me exercising, um, if I want to lose weight, uh, eating healthy is not a problem to me, maybe because I'm not a foodie like most people. And... Um, I've also learned a, a, a good way of actually losing weight healthier because some people would, when they want to lose weight, then they use some horrible things and, you know, they harm themselves. Anyway, so with that journey, which now drove me to getting certified, certified as a health and nutrition coach and also embarking on a journey of being a fitness trainer, I did not want to... To, um, to be called like that. I did not want to be called a fitness coach or a wellness coach or fitness trainer. I actually, because of what I have been exposed to, most of the time when I go to gym, I don't go to gym now. I think my last gym subscription was in 2019 and I decided I'm going to do this from home uh, because now I know a whole lot of things. I don't need to go to gym really, right? So, um, when I uh, go to gym, uh, because I'm big, some people would know that I am not a small person. I am very, you know, curvaceous, you know, I've got a very, <laughs> yes, body baby. Yeah. And I do not have an interest in becoming slender or in becoming muscular. But then when you go to gym and you look at those fitness trainers and uh, instructors and all that, those people, most of them actually are very small. And, um, they are muscular and this is what I have been exposed to that in order for you to become a fitness trainer or a fitness coach you need to be smaller this is me I don't know if it's the world teaching me this but all obviously it is the world <laughs> so I have been seeing exposed to fitness trainers who are very small like size 30 and going down there very muscular and here I am helping other people lose weight but I did not want to 
to be called as a fitness coach instead just call me a life coach and who is basically having a hobby of running and all those things and to be honest like i said when i go to gym i would see how guys would approach me and say if you want to lose weight this is how you do it they don't know me they don't know what i do and i do you know accept and i'm like oh okay is that it is that so yes okay bye you know but when it's a, a smaller person coming in they do not go to to the smaller person and tell them do you want to lose weight or something like that so it has been a norm or something that i have been exp uh, have been exposed to so now I took fitness as one of my passions. Like I literally can do anything when it comes to fitness. And most of you, if you are following, uh, following me from Facebook, you know that I am doing like some things that even people smaller than me cannot do because that's how I love fitness. I also love um, exploring what my body can do. So, uh, only this year, guys, I got to heal that, um, that thing, that limiting belief, only this year. And this is a lady now who called me during uh, the lockdown period. Remember, before I get there, I have been helping people lose weight. I have uh, been exercising for six years and um, in uh, year five I got um, certified as a health and nutrition coach and you know a whole lot of people have been coming to me and some wanted to even pay for my fees or as a, as a fitness trainer but I did not feel I am worthy of being called a fitness trainer or even being paid for that thing so um during the lockdown this amazing lady called me and said where is your fitness page and i'm like fitness page you know with me i have been doing this as a you know it's like a, a hobby so i'm like do i need to have a fitness page for this and that is how uh, body transformation with my label was formed in april the 20th of april then i decided let me start actually this thing and let me get people paying for my fees you know for for the things that i know this is my knowledge this is my time and this is just me i love fitness and this is who i am i do not intend to be slender but i intend to show people that you can do anything with your body you don't need to wait until you are slender so that you can do something you can do it right now and guess what one of my my fellow coaches called me the other day and told me that every time when you put um, a video on facebook i am challenged to say if this lady is bigger than me and can do this what can i do you know and a whole lot of people really and i have been signing up people on my my program body transformation with my label and the people who have been committed to the program have been losing weight have been you know a whole lot of amazing things have been happening since april of 2020 and that is the um the time when i let go of this limiting belief that i need to be of a uh, the best shape in order for me to be a fitness trainer and i end uh, this title for six years yes six years I have been helping people. I have written books. I mean, even today, I still help people. You know, some people would be calling me. Uh, I, I just need to lose this part of me. You know, smaller, very smaller people. I just need to lose this part of me. And I saw that I actually have been holding myself back because of the programming that I have been exposed to. And um, it's not only about, you know, sometimes when people are looking at somebody slender, doing something difficult, they believe, yeah, it's your body that is allowing you to do that. But now when they are looking at Malib, who is a size 36 and who is curvaceous and all those things, and they're looking at them, uh, 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 if this lady can do this, hey, I can also do it. It's actually an encouraging journey to other people. So I, I am saying this to you because I know most of us ha do have limiting beliefs and we are waiting for some other a time you know the right time i saw a, a friend of mine on face on facebook wrote a status that stop wasting time saying i am waiting for god's time uh, uh, just learn what you need to do and today this is what i also want to say that stop waiting for the perfect time to do something because the world has programmed you to believe that you actually need to be a certain way or speak english in a certain way in order for 
you to become what you need to become you can start right now and this is what i have also had to go through that i need to start right now fitness is my passion it's not something that you know i wake up i am passionate about fitness that is the reason why i paid so that i can learn about health and nutrition and i'm still going to pay for being a fitness trainer so you know i had to accept that i am not going to be slender i am not i'm not even interested in being slender but i am interested in helping other people look look at themselves better and say if my label can do it i can also do it so there is somebody the people who are who are assigned to your purpose they are waiting for you to start they are waiting for you to start doing that one thing but you are sitting down there like my label you know a few years ago that i cannot be this person and I cannot be comfortable. I do not feel worthy of being called this. There are people waiting for you. And you know what? The amazing thing is that when I decided to take up this title as a fitness coach, whatever you want to call me, I'm really, you know, I'm comfortable with everything now. But when I decided to take up this uh, uh, name and own it, gosh, I signed up a whole lot of people. You know, and this weekend on Saturday, I am having a, a session, a face-to-face um, -face session there at Union Buildings, the Union Buildings in Pretoria, where we will be training a whole lot of people. Yes, a whole lot of people are coming for that session, not because they are looking for somebody slender to do the, the work. They are looking for somebody who can understand their needs and work with those needs. So somebody is waiting for you, my sister, my brother. Somebody's waiting for you to start doing the work because the time is now there is no you know i'll start tomorrow maybe with you it's not even about fitness it's not about earning a title it's not about something you just need to understand that there are some things and i have i have to embrace this thing guys there are some things that you came with they were pre-installed in you believe you me what i know about fitness now nobody had taught me I actually, yes, through research and all those things, but it was something that was like pre-installed in me and I needed to activate it. So even with you, you do have some things within you that are already installed and all you need to do is to activate that installation by doing what? By taking ownership of that one thing. You know, you do have passions. You do have your your things that you love you know some people love cooking some people love um uh, singing some people, you know a whole lot of things but all you need to do some people would be like hey no i'm just singing at church but you know when you are singing at church people are you are moving people's souls this is the time that you need to do that album yes that album girl boy yeah that album do it right now because the world is waiting for you Thank you for your time. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share this video if you love it. And let us grow, like I said, this big community. I love you and have an awesome day.